You see, both of you, from the day you got married, in fact, while you are cutting, it should be clear to one another we are working toward greatness. There's something big we want to do. Are you with me? You are talking it, you are challenging one another. And when both of you are people that are interested in greatness, you become each other's cheerleader and each other's motivation. I told you about uh, a discussion I had with my fiancé at that time. Is it fiancé or fiancé? They're not born me in Oyibolan. Come on, are you with him? So I had a discussion with her. I did not forget where it happened because it stuck in my head. Near Orazi, by those, the school that they call it SBS. We are coming from that area, on that road. And I was telling her my desire to start a new walk. Gateway Church. I was talking to her about the vision God gave to me to start a new walk. And we are walking. On that road, as we just turned into that road, by that Olanada school, I think that's what they used to call it that time. I don't know if they changed the name now. Is it on Lonada? Uh -huh. That's where. She just stopped there. By then, there was no wall at that time. Just Melina around the place. Just stopped there. And looked at me. I said, George. I said, yes. She just turned to me. He said, no, I love you. I said, yes. I'm going to marry you. Say yes. He said, listen. What matters to me in church is the word of God. If I keep coming to church and you can't feed me from the word, I'll be your wife, but I'll be attending another church. I will love you, but I'll be going somewhere because I cannot come to church every week and go home empty. Right on the road there, I lifted my hand as if I was wearing an oath. As I vowed to you that nobody will give me his two hours on a Sunday morning and I waste it. And that thing I vowed to her, I tried to maintain it. Brothers and sisters, those who see my outline know I put more in an outline than some pastors put in a month. My leaders here can tell you. I put more in one outline than some pastors put in their whole outline for the month. Nobody can finish preaching my outline in a service. Unless you are rushing. There's no pastor in Gateway I give an outline that can finish in the time I look at it. I pack this, I put this. Sometimes, in fact, on a Saturday, I start canceling things in the outline. Because if you do that, service will be an everlasting service. You're not hearing. Because I over prepare for every meeting. Why? That challenge, that challenge, that challenge. Do you know that most of you come to Jesus for the word? What I'm saying, is that true? You come for the church for the word. Every time you sit down here, you, you know there's something new that we drop. That's what happens when you are aspiring for greatness. You become each other's cheerleader, each other's motivation. Are you with me?